question it. Shall we pray? Namo tasa bhagavato rahato sama sambutasa tasa bhagavato Sama sambutasa namo tasa bhagavato Sama sambutasa saranang me kamang saranang sangang saranang sadhu sadhu Okay, first, if you have anything unclear or any question, you ask me first. Minyi, do you have any question? You haven't learned your lesson. You haven't studied your lesson, so you don't have any question. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I only ask you when I uh, have problem in my writing. But at this time, I'm okay because uh, when for today I read this feeling and contemplate the rest, uh, I uh, I think that's the, in my uh, activity uh, with my children. I uh, Symbol remind your children come home from school, blah, blah, blah. Uh, wake up uh, in the morning, blah, blah, blah. But uh, at this time, I it made clear observe how I feel. Uh, I am uh, obsessed uh, how my uh, rush. I check everything, but uh, I spray. I realize uh, I said that I'm not obsessed. I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay, but, you uh, say, li li listen, listen. You said you are okay. Let me ask you if your if your daughter went to the school and returned home very late. Are you worried? No. I don't worry, but uh, <laughs> when when she uh, we when she go home, she very uh, lazy. She no, 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 no. She, let, she let, chain, no, no. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me carefully. Yeah. Say, suppose your daughter must return home. Yeah. At uh, eleven o'clock in the morning. No. Uh, what for time? What for thirty in the. Afternoon. Afternoon. Okay, yeah. four thirty. She supposed to be home. Yeah. Okay, but today she will return home. She will come home about six o'clock. Would you be worried? Mm. Yes. No. No. What? What if she return home about seven o'clock? So you keep waiting, tick tick, from four thirty, five thirty, six thirty, and she's not return home. How do you feel? No, because my husband check her from home. No, no, no. Suppose your husband got a problem. And he but, ring you. And but, he yes, at that time, um, I think that I worry. Yeah, you worry. Yeah. You know why you worry? Because my why the daughter, Why the daughter of the neighbor return home let you never be worried? <laughs> Yeah. Because yes. your daughter. Yeah. Attaching the feeling of attachment. See? It's yeah. deep down, subtle, deep down inside your brain, you see? It's yeah. deep down, deep down. Because every day she turned home, she came home about 6, 4.30. So you are not worried at all. But today, 7 o'clock, she has not returned home. And you get panic. Yeah. 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 You see? So because you come into the pattern, expectation of the pattern, okay, of activity. Every day she turn home, she come home, she talk to you 4 30. But say five o'clock, six o'clock, she's not coming home. You yeah. See? You see? Yes. I realize that about that. But that's that not the point. The point yeah. is your attachment. Yeah. 
That's my daughter. If the daughter of the next door, next door neighbor, you wouldn't care. Yeah. But because she is your daughter. So you see, the touch, yeah. the feeling of attachment. Mm -hmm. You have to know, you have to identify the feeling of attachment when it arises, when it disappears, because that takes you to a next life. Okay. But uh, at this time, what uh, I want to say with you, but I realized immediately when uh, I talk with my children I, uh, in my work uh, every day. So uh, when I remind my children, I said that, no, I'm not obsessed about that, but I, I, I come back in my mind, I see real life. I think that in my mind, I said that, no, I, I'm not upset, but my rage, my rage in, my rage out is a little bit not. not okay, not, breathing not in, breathing used. out. She says, yes. so. okay. But let me at ask that, you. At between, that time, I realize it's not good. Okay, let me yeah. ask you, say 4.30, she's supposed to be home. Yeah. And you wait until five o'clock, no, nothing. Yeah. 5.30, the police call you, say, she is in hospital. And six yeah. o'clock, o'clock, the headmaster say, she stay in the hospital, she stay in the school and nobody pick her up. And 6.30s, somebody else on the street say, she is crying on the street. So you are in a state of confusion. You don't know which one is correct. Your, your daughter may be in hospital, maybe in the school, or maybe on the street. Yeah. That is the point, you see. If yeah. you cannot maintain the breathing in, breathing out, you are totally upset because you don't know what to do. Yeah. But you have three conflicting information. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So next one. Tiang Pham, would you ask me anything? You got any problem with the feeling, uh, contemplation of the feeling? Yes, dear master. I, I get angry during I do meditation when I feel sleepy and I upset to myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Maybe expectation so much so. No, the, uh, the natural the biological natural uh, reaction. When you get tired, you usually get into sleep. But I told you already, there's a seven kind of the activity which you can reduce the sleepiness. Okay, touching your, uh, your ear, uh, washing your face and standing up, walking, all sorts of things, seven things uh, you have to do. And at the end, at the end, if you're still sleepy, just get rid of the meditation. Take it easy, walking up and down, up and down for five minutes. That the Buddha teach it. Mangulana got a problem with sleeping. Even Sariputta got a problem with sleeping. So the Buddha come up, so Buddha says seven things you have to do when you get the sleepiness, you know, when you cannot meditate because you feel sleepy. Okay. There's a seven thing you can do. Okay. okay. And you look at uh, the uh, tweetum dot in four. There's a various information on that already. I talk about that at least about two or three occasions. Uh, did you have uh, lunch, Jiang Pham? Yeah, I did, Master. What did you have for lunch? I ate the dry vegetable and egg with egg. <laughs> is it uh, eggs or duck eggs? What kind of eggs? My mom bought this. I but you don't know. That's the problem, you see. You eat something which you don't know. You think it's too dangerous? Eating something without knowing what it is. The problem is not about the product. The problem is the men mentality. Are you conscious of what you are eating? 
if you're not conscious about what you are eating, it develops the pattern, repeat it. We call karma, okay? And that kind of karma takes you to another, another life. After you die, you may be reborn as an animal, eating without thinking, eating like the, uh, I saw the cow, they eat grass, they don't care what kind of grass, they just eat, 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 eat the grass. You see, it's too dangerous, you have to know. And you have a right to refuse the food which you don't like. You say, mommy, I don't like it, I don't want to eat. That's good, because that's recognition of who you are, okay? So I can refuse, so even if you give me the food, Yes, you can refill, but you must refill if you don't like it, because that developed the good uh, intention, you know, good intention. And also your mother, knowing that you don't like that kind of food, she will sub substitute another one, keep you back, keep you uh, happier. So it's good to have the interaction between mother and, and daughter, you know, to be frank, to be honest. Okay, that, that's the way we do. We practice meditation by frankness and honesty. If you don't like it, you tell mommy, I don't like it. It's not good. For me. Okay. I'm afraid she will be upset or she will be. Uh, it doesn't matter. You say, mother, I don't like this kind of food. I hope you can give me a better one. And she will ask you what kind of food you like. You can say, okay, A, B, C, D. And that's all the problem, you see. And she know what you like. She is very keen to offer something you like. She doesn't want to give you something which you don't like. <laughs> okay. But that's a feeling, okay? You have to sort out the feeling. Uh, don't cheat yourself by accepting something which you don't like. It's no good. It comes into the subconsciousness and go into Gandaba. You have to clear it, okay? I don't like it, mommy. But if you offer me something else, I'm very happy. And she will ask you, what else? And you can tell what you want. Okay? And be, the relationship between mother and daughter better every day because you get understanding each other. And you clear all the ambiguous thing in your mind and it clear the, uh, the consciousness. Once you clear the consciousness, as soon as you die, there's no more information in your brain. And then you can fly to the uh, heaven. Min Quen. Yes. Did you have lunch? I. Yes, yes or I no? The lunch. Yes or no? Yes, I have. Okay, yes. you had lunch. What did you have for lunch? I, uh, I have the light breakfast, so in the lunch, I only use the, the sweet, the sweet. Black. What kind of sweet? What, do I, what kind of sweet cakes you have? I, I think that's in the soup, the soup. Not I in, think. In Vietnamese. No, 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 not I think. You must experience it. You eat it, you must know. You not not just I think it is. <laughs> you must have the feeling about the the cakes or the soup you eat. So I ask you, what kind of soup did you have? It's cold, it's cold and sweet. Okay, cold and sweet. Uh, is it chicken I, soup? I like or? it. Yes. Okay, chicken yes. soup. So you mm -hmm. have to tell me you eat chicken soup. Don't tell me you think you eat. No, you're not thinking. You eat it. <laughs> You add the chicken soup, yeah. okay? That's experience, you know, the yeah. feeling is experience. Not just the I think I feel, it's, it's not so true. Uh, you contemplate the feeling, breathing in, breathing out. And did you feel happy when you had yeah. soup? Good? How does it taste? The soup, it's, does it taste? It's, it's sweet. Good. Sweet. You yeah, like it or you don't like it? I think I like it. You don't think. But master. Yes, you like it or you don't like, like it. it. Don't say yeah. you think you like it. It's no good. 
Here we experience, the Buddha say, you must experience, not just thinking, okay? You eating the real soup, not eating the soup through the picture. So the feeling, yeah. it's not the thinking, okay? And you have to contemplate the feeling. Okay, come to. Yes. Today, did you meet your son? Yes, I did. And what did he tell you? Early in the morning, I yes. wake him up and he yes. say, he asked me if I have prepared breakfast for him. Okay. <laughs> I and, say I did. No, no, no. Stop, stop here. Stop here. When he asked you, Mommy, did you prepare my breakfast? And what did you feel? I feel happy. You feel happy? Yes. Did he ask you? Or you feel happy because he's because you're serving the breakfast? I'm happy because uh... He care. He he care for for right after he wake up. He care for his breakfast. Yeah, he care for his breakfast, but he doesn't care who cook the breakfast for him. Did you get the feeling that you're happy no. because you feed him? I happy because uh, I have make breakfast in time for him okay so you happy because you serve the breakfast in time yes what did you give him in the breakfast i uh, i prepare for him rice tomato and uh, uh, chicken and why why you make a chicken for him that's what i have in the bridge uh, that's all you have in the fridge, not because yes. he like it. Yes. He may not like chicken. He like it. Okay, he like it. And you sure he like it? Yes. Because I asked several times before. Okay. So when he when he consumed the breakfast and you are you were there. What did yes. you feel? What did you feel when you see him eating breakfast? Um, I was so happy. You were so happy because he's eating breakfast, or you were so happy because you see him happy? All together. All together. So it's makeup, you cannot I distinguish it. Listen, everybody, you must distinguish because of the mind can focus only one topic at one time. So if you cannot distinguish the real feeling, all the, everything mixing and you get confused and the confused state of mind, the Buddha call delusion. If you cannot identify a separate feeling at the same time, and you are acting under delusion, which is one of the three poison. See, even you are happy, but you may not know whether you are happy because he's happy, or you happy because you you believe you believe that you are serving the best breakfast, and the then the feel, the good feeling you had because you believe that you serve the best breakfast. That's a totally different from your eyes. When you see your son happy, he's happy, he's smiling, he's eating, and you're so happy. That's so different. Okay. On the one hand, you see your, your boys eating, all the activity catching your eye, and you get a good feeling. On the other hand, it's in your internal mind. Okay. You feel that you are serving the best breakfast for your son. That two distinguished, uh, differentiated feeling. Okay. And usually we acting under delusion, we put them together. I feel so happy because my son eating. No, it's two different items. One is what you see in your eye. 
when your son eating, 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 and she's, he's smiling. And when you see the contact generate the feeling, that's a different kind of feeling. Okay. We have to uh, uh, distinguish. Did Master, he talk to you? Did, did he talk to you in the breakfast? He didn't talk he because just he, he has sore throat. So he, he, <laughs> he, he didn't want to talk. Okay. He got a serious sore throat. And uh, master, yes, I I realized that, and the perception. Yes. When when I um, contemplate the, the the sadness, the disappointment. Yes. And uh, the end, the anger. Yes. I realize a uh, different state. So at the beginning, in some cases, I uh, cannot. Uh, I realize until uh, I react uh, to the outside environment. Yes. And later I, I pay more attention and I realize uh, I, I can realize the anger, the upset when, um, when my mind works. So from the point I, my eye, my ear contact to the thing, Yes. I, I still don't realize. Yes. Uh, and, but that's uh, a problem. That's a problem. Every everything will happen to you ladies. Every every ladies must recognize. As soon as you reveal it, okay, you reveal your feeling and all the emotional feeling and emotional reaction, biological reaction is registered in your brain already. Okay. Yeah. It's in your brain already. It come into your consciousness, and later it's screening through the screening process. It come into the Gandaba. You review it, you can see it, but you cannot eliminate it. That's a problem. You see, it take a lot of time, a lot of effort for meditation to get rid of what you feel, what you see, uh, emotionally or visually, in your brain. You have it take a lot of time to clear it. So as soon as you hear, you see, you smell, if you are good contempla uh, contemplation, uh, uh, you observe it, and then you just get rid of it, okay? So every moment from now until the next lesson, you have to contemplate, breathing in, breathing out. Always follow and catch up with your, your breath, okay? I'm breathing in, long, short, I have to know. Because the way you contemplate or you get stuck with the breathing in and breathing out activity your mind is focused okay because your mind is focused and ready to see like a camera ready to to press okay when you see the good picture immediately the camera click 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 very quick if you train your mind in that way you will not miss any activity at all you will not miss any feeling at all uh, the whole thing here, yeah, you have to train your capability to see, to know, to acknowledge what you see, how you feel. Otherwise, it come into your consciousness and then it drop into Gandaba. Sleep over there until you die and it push you to another life. Okay. So you have to contemplate in every moment, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. I know short, long, strong, or weak breath, you have to know. Because you are training your mind to be alert of everything. So whatever happened, you are not throwing them up, but you are standing like the uh, spectator. You just see something and you just... Uh, Observe it without getting involved. Do you understand? So the way the Buddha teaches at any point in time, if we focus on our breath, we actually contemplate. We are seriously practicing Buddhism. Okay. If we fail to catch up with our breath, our breath, 
breathing in, breathing out. Not actually the breath, it's a breathing in, breathing out activity. Okay, breathing in, breathing out activity. Not following the breath, the breath is mean nothing, just the air. But when you're breathing in, it's activity. Then you see it slowly, slowly, slowly come into your nose and go to your lungs, okay? You have to follow it. And in following it, you calm your mind, you clear your mind. And when you have the clear mind, you can observe everything very quick, okay? Like you have the uh, knife. After using it for a while, you have to redo it again, you know, make it sharper, sharpen the knife. That's the way we do. So every day we have to contemplate. And particularly, the feeling is very important because it's always mixed up between one and another. Okay. When you see your son eating, the eye catching his act of eating. And when the eye catching it, it comes into the consciousness and you feel happy. The happiness you feel as a result of your eye catching your son eating. And that happiness is so different, so different from what you believe that you are serving the best breakfast for your son. Sometimes people mix up between the two, you see? They think, okay, it's a good breakfast and she's happy, he's happy and you're happy. No, it's confusion. Instead of the confusion of my and the Buddha say is a delusion. Because five aggregate cheating you. So you cannot distinguish one and another. So on the first one, maybe your eye catching your son when he is eating and he's so cheerful eating and he eat a lot and you feel so happy when he eat a lot. On the second, it's not about his eating but about your own perception. You believe that you cook the best breakfast for him. And that belief will generate the feeling, the feeling that you are the best mother and he's the best son. Okay? It compromise the reality perception. Because now we are acting under delusion. We believe in something. So we feel like you believe in the Buddha when you go to the temple. You be, you're so happy because you see the Buddha status. But you know, you learn from me already. I teach you many times. There's no Buddha in the temple. He's inside your brain. He's inside your heart. If you feel good, you feel sincere, you feel honest, the Buddha is inside you. It's not in the temple. But when you go to the temple, you, you smell the incense, you see the color, you see the uh, Buddha statue, and then immediately you feel so happy. So it is about your feeling, your perception of the feeling. It's not real feeling. Okay? So taking your example, when you see your son eating, your eye catching his eating, the act of his eating, and you feel happy that the reality observation, that the observation of reality. But if you believe that as a mother, you serve him the best breakfast, which make him happy, and that's the, the perception. It's a delusion. Okay. But sometimes, I can tell you a lot of time, not just sometimes, most of the time people fall into the second category. I believe that I'm, del I'm delivering the Dharma teaching in English to the best for you. That's what I believe. But the, the, the fact is not true. When I look at your face, you see, you are not happy <laughs> in learning the lesson. So I know it's not true. What I believe turned out to be wrong one, you see? When I see the Min Yi, I know she's not comprehended what I'm teaching. So what I believe is wrong, okay? I believe I'm giving her the best English Dhamma. But when I look at her eyes, I see, no, she's not comprehending. So that means my quality teaching is not good to expect to my expectation, okay? I perceive it's not why 
reality is. I perceive reality is, is not what reality actually is. It's two different things. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Next week, we will learn about the observation of reality and observation by perception. So this today, I just introduce you a little bit. Perception is something with your consciousness, something to do with your consciousness. You believe in something and you observe it in a different way. Not the reality, like the five blind men watching the, describing the ele elephant, you know, blind men, they couldn't see the, the elephant. So they describe the elephant according to the park they touched. Uh, some uh, one, one blind man may say, okay, the elephant look like the uh, uh, the sweeper because he touched at the end. And another one say, no, the elephant look like column because he touched the legs, you know, the legs too big, like column. So depend on the which part. Another one touching the trunk of the elephant. They say, no, it look like a different kind. So they have a different description because they don't have the true picture, the full true picture of the reality. And that's our problem because we don't know the true picture of reality. Reality is death, birth, death, sickness, aging. And in our daily life, we forget it. We enjoy eating, we enjoy socializing, we enjoy talking, we enjoy making money, we enjoy happiness, we enjoy many things. We forget that reality is birth, aging, sickness, and death. That's four, four facts. We cannot run away. No matter who you are, you are rich, you are poor, you are intelligent, you are non-intelligent. At the end of the day, you must die. And you get sick. You get aging. Okay, everybody. I'm 79. I, I, I experienced it already. I nearly die already. So I know sickness, aging, birth. Only one thing I haven't experienced, which is death. And when I die, I wouldn't be able to say goodbye to you because it's too late. You understand? So for truth, for facts, okay? But we usually forget it. We chasing the illusion, eating, sleeping, talking, building up career, building up the house, new car, all sorts of things. Okay, you may dream, okay, next year I send my daughter to USA for study, all sorts of things, you know, just dreaming. And sometimes it makes you crazy because you cannot get it, okay? You ask your daughter, daughter, you must learn English. Next year you go to USA. The daughter say, why should I go mother? And then you get upset. You see, that's the, the conflicting perception. You did not have the reality perception. You are acting under delusion. So to clear all these things in the consciousness, you must following your breath, but not the breath itself. You must follow the activity of breathing in, breathing out. Okay, this activity. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Shall we pray? Next week, we learn something new about the uh, perception of reality or observation of reality. May all merit cultivated to our learning be shared to all the devas and the human beings in any realms. May they be happy and liberate from the suffering. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. I ask you one thing. You have to be honest. If you don't know something, just ask me. Stop me, okay? Don't let me go further, further. And later on, you uh, you confuse. It's no good, okay? We have to clear something ambiguity, okay? Something that you don't know. We have to stop and clear it before we move to a next step. Okay, so be honest. If you don't know anything, just let ask me. 
You pay the fee already. Minnie pay the tuition fee already. She's smiling. <laughs> I, I don't care about the tuition fee. You don't have to pay. But she can pay. Okay. See you next time. Yeah.